Hello everybody, in today's video I show you how I built my Fighter Edition Pickle Barrel Boat. Let's get started. Now that I have my template in place, I'm going to go ahead and drill a pilot hole and then use a jigsaw to cut out my opening. Now from the center line, I'll cut a hole 9 inches down and 2.5 and inches across on both sides. Alright, the same measurements as the front, it's going to be 9 inches down and 2.5 and inches from the back on both sides. Here I've cut some 2 inch PVC uh, to 28 inches long and inserted them across both ends. Alright, so now with the fun part, to make the Gatling guns I started with 4 inch PVC, cut them to 57 inches long and I put one piece of wood on the end to secure it and I finished off both ends with a pressure cap. So here I've attached the bucket lid to the end of the PVC that had the wood on it. So I've installed 7 2 inch PVC caps uh, that were sanded on the bottom so they'll lay flat on the bucket lid. I've attached six 2 inch PVC cut to 57 inches long and the top piece is going to be cut 5 inches long, 23 inches long, and 22 inches long with two T's as the connectors. For the front of the Gatling gun I took a 5 gallon bucket I drilled seven holes in the front that were two and a quarter inch and on the side for each gun I drilled four holes and they were one and three quarter inch. For my extensions, I needed four two and a half inch PVC. Now I need to add a T to each of my extensions. Now to finish it off, I stuck a five gallon black bucket on the end and it was filled with styrofoam. All right, now I've attached my Gatling guns and everything is secured with PVC cement and screws. So for the wings, I took another pickle barrel, cut out a quarter section, two of those, and just attached those on with screws. So now I'm going to add a PVC that's four and three quarter inch long to the two T's that are on the end of the boat. For the missile I used four inch PVC and I cut that to 50 inches long and on the end I used three foam fins that I made and on the front end I used a four to three PVC reducer and to cap that off I used a cupcake holder. So here I've added a piece of wood that fits into the two inch PVC and just secured that down. So the boat's all done, let's go ahead and hit the water. All right, so I thought I would try to sit on the back just to see how it would work, and I had way more leg room, and it was uh, very easy to steer, and I had no flotation problems at all. And of course, I had to try right inside. Uh, being 5'9", I had a little less leg room, uh, and it was a little harder to steer, but either way, uh, the boat worked great, and it was a lot of fun to build, and it was definitely a lot of fun to ride around the water with it. All right, thanks for watching this video as always. Take care. And God bless.